Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome back to Naruto Konoha Legends. Now, this is the uh, V5, or version 5 edition, which I named War Mode, since you can actually watch all of the matches, and um, I, I, get, I just got a uh, brand new pair of glasses, but um, I've been uh, rushing back and forth trying to get so much done this week, so I just wanted to set up some matches from the show and see all what goes down, because I didn't even get to upload on... I think uh, Tuesday and Thursday I had to go back to the default Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule which honestly I want to upload daily but whenever things get really busy I have to sort of go back to the default schedule so let's see if we can try turns and then get that whole um, like just one of the first show one of the first battles from the show like Naruto Sasuke, oh man, I no, 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 I should have done, hang on, I should have done, I should have done turns all four, Naruto, Sasuke, Sakura, and Kakashi, versus, whoop, 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 where are they, there we go, Haku, and Zabuza, I don't know if the great, I don't know if the uh, great Naruto bridge is on here, I wonder. It doesn't look like it is. <laughs> hmm. I bet it's in a name that I don't recognize. <laughs> God, he's loud. Haku's starting off strong. Naruto pushing back. Naruto's making good use of his jutsu. And there's a sexy jutsu. <laughs> Got some ice mirrors going on. Not sure what it's uh, doing for Haku right now, though. Ooh. It doesn't look like it blocks anything. Haku still hasn't had to switch to Zabuza. Naruto still hasn't had to switch to anyone else. Actually, my bad. It's pronounced Zabuza. I think I messed that up because I was too busy drinking my drink. Naruto's almost out! But he fights back with a Demon Wind Shuriken. Oh, but he gets taken out. And Haku's going to get back a good chunk of health. And now it's Sasuke versus Haku. Nobody suggested any matches that they wanted to see, so I just had to make some up. <laughs> Figure we'll reenact the show. <laughs> Ooh, nice attack there by Haku. And a pushback by Sasuke. It looks like they're evenly matched. Actually, considering the fact that... Oh! I was just about to say, considering the fact that Haku had some missing health to begin with, it seemed like Sasuke was on the upper hand. Or uh, Haku was on the upper hand. But now... Oh! Now it's down to Zabuza versus Sasuke. Hitting him pretty hard, but Sasuke dispatched those water clones earlier very easily. But now he's been dispatched. Looks like it's down to Sakura. Well, everybody move upfield. We all know what happens with early Sakura. Actually, she's pretty good in the game. Like, in the game, she's she's got good abilities. She can't heal continuously. She can only heal once, as far as I know, but it's still better than nothing. And, of course, she's got all of her little traps and stuff. But see, it's not too early, Sakura, because you can tell that she still has her, like, um, her monster strength from Tsunade, so it must be sometime slightly after her training. Plus, that's, I imagine that's also where the healing factor comes into as well. So it looks like they're going to pull this one off. It might actually not even go to, uh, it might actually not even go to Kakashi. It's hard to speak over them. It's so loud. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Ooh, that would have been a good attack by Sakura, but it was interrupted by a paper bomb. And there it goes. Interesting. And I would do simultaneous, but with simultaneous, the way that usually works is some characters can fight simultaneously at the same time, and some can't. It's kind of iffy. 
Usually what happens is you'll pick simultaneous and they'll come in one at a time anyway. Don't know why. So let's see, what fight would be next? Uh, there's no Kid Neji on here, so we can't do the tuning exams. So, hmm. How about... I've got it. We do brothers versus brothers. Find out who's the toughest. Hashirama or Tobirama. <laughs> that, oh man. No, that's like a, that's like a match I should say, uh, save for another day. Like get three Hashirama, get four Hashiramas in there and four Tobiramas in there. Uh, I, 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 I wanted to stick with the theme of like the younger versions fighting themselves. Hmm. I don't know. That's pretty tempting. Yeah, let's do it. I don't know what I'll title this episode, but let's do it. Can I even do that? Four in a row? Yeah, I sure can. <laughs> brother versus brother. <laughs> Find out who is the strongest. Ah, that's what this episode should be about. Brother versus brother. I'll just find a bunch of brothers and put four or four uh, in there. Go at it, you two. Next will be brother versus brother. Let me think. Toby Rama seems to got have the pretty bad bad a water skills. Oh, and they're fighting. Oh, and they're fighting at the Valley of the End. I just realized I picked that stage. Of course, it should have been. Madara and Hashirama. Alright. Got both of them charging. Looks like Hashirama's gonna make it first. He makes a wood clone. Or a shadow clone, I suppose. Puts up a shield, but it's taken down. Got some wood dragon going on there. Not sure what that's actually called. Looks like he's got Tobirama blocked into a corner. He's gonna need to use that like fancy step moves of his to get out of there and there's a water style kinda like a you know that you know what that reminds me of <laughs> I hate to compare him to Blastoise but that that move honestly reminds me of Hydro Pump <laughs> it really does so little does he know that Toby Rome is back somehow through demon witch magic I don't know why I picked four on four but I figure it's easier this way to do best two out of three or best three out of five. I I don't know how. It, it, anyway, it, it evens out because it's four versus four, so I don't have to keep going back and reselecting it. Oh, Toby Rama makes it first this time. Whoa! And an excellent combo, uh, taking half a bar combo. Excuse me. Now the wood shield comes up. Looks like Toby or uh, Hashirama's pushing Toby Rama back into the corner. But Tommy Rama fights his way back out of it. Ashirama's only got one more hit left to go. He's got to be careful. Oh, and there it goes. He actually had two hits. But he's down now. Looks like these two are evenly matched. And now Hashirama is back again. Both characters charging, and now... Hydro Pump! I'm sorry, I'm calling a Hydro Pump. Whoa! Never seen him use that one before. Excellent jutsu uses, uh, excellent jutsu uses by Hashirama. Nice. A good use of AoE there in that last hit. Never knowing where Toby Rama was gonna pop up, he just decided to use the, uh, the tree in a, in an all-around sort of area. I like the water pillar too. That one's pretty cool. Good combos. <laughs> I like how they both just keep continuously striking even while they're falling down. You know what would be really cool? Well, probably not very cool, but if you ever think about it, in these versus matches, it's always CPU versus CPU. So the computer sort of has to struggle, it doesn't really struggle, but the computer has to control both characters at once. So they're pretty much evenly matched, and it just basically, it's sort of random. 
or it could be based on whose character is actually the best. What if you could put what if you could pit someone else's CPU against your CPU? Like for example, you have your computer and they have their computer. Let's say your computer has a little bit higher RAM and visual cards and it's just like a gaming computer where theirs is just like a like a regular like a regular HP or something. If you could put CPU versus CPU and see if there was actually a difference. Oh, Hashirama's healing. Oh, but it's not going to be enough, is it? It's actually keeping him alive. Good God, that's a lot of healing fast. No wonder Madara had so much trouble with him. He took a direct attack, and where it, he should have died, it left him with like 1 HP. Whoa! Simultaneous attacks. Toby Rama with the combos. Hashirama with the pushback into the corner. Oh, Toby Rama just a slight miss on that one. If I get their names mixed up, please forgive me. I mean, they're kind of similar. Oh, what, what are we down to now? What are we down to? Who's left? Is that the last for Hashirama? I think he's got one more. I think Hashirama's got one more. So we must be on the last Toby Rama too then. Ooh! It's coming down to the wire then, brother versus brother. In this epic brother 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 match. <laughs> That's so cool. That was so well timed. Usually that move doesn't work. The thing is, I think that wood pillar, like the one he uses to guard himself, I think oh wow, nice hit. I think it can guard against one specific attack but it could be a very strong or a very weak attack. You just sort of have to use it at the perfect to uh, moment because there have been a few times where he'd use it and Toby Rama would just run up and kick it out. But it can block strong attacks like that one. Looks like it might go, it could go either way. Oh, it's gonna go to Hashirama though. Unless Toby Rama's got one more left. I don't think he does, does he? Oh. No, that's it. It goes to Hashirama, the older of the two brothers being the strongest. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So now we have to find our next... Ma um, who was that that used to do that? Macho Man? Brother, brother thing? <laughs> we gotta find our next brother, brother! <laughs> I'm ashamed of myself. I'm so sorry. It doesn't... It doesn't... Being goofball doesn't work over as well for me as it does for others, but... It's it speaks to my soul. Who's who is the next? I wasn't gonna do Sasuke versus Itachi yet. There was another brother combination that I wanted to do. Who was it? Brother, brother, brother. Who's who's got some brothers around here? Hey, hey, hey. Who's related? Let's see. No, not you. Huh. I didn't realize that there's not a lot of brothers. <laughs> hmm. B. Oh! Ha ha! Wait, where is he? There he is. B and A. Wait, oh, duh. I gotta do the 4v4 thing. Watch. And of course, it's still on the hardest difficulty setting. Just so you know. Maybe. Ooh, the last one was a 4 versus 4. Maybe we should do a simultaneous this time. Watch. Simultaneous. B and B versus I and I. A A versus B B. <laughs> A A. They're, they're, oh, I picked random. Dag blast it. So at least that's one more brother combination. And of course I can't put, uh, let's see, somebody's brother died though. Cool. Yeah, oh my god. So, uh, see, sometimes they stay in, sometimes they don't. Yeah, see, they both jumped out. Ooh! Running right in with the tail, uh, the tail beast cloak there. Bees making good use of the Samihata. But I is making good use of his fists. Oh, and that, that, um, I can't even remember what that's called, but that, it was, it was, it was way off, it was way off, like the demon leg drop, oh, he's got that one, oh, 
And the substitution by B, very nice. And he pissed him off. B really pushing heavy right now. Uh-oh. It looks like I's got some strict uh, some tricks up his str uh, sleeve. Basically, between the substitution and the usage of his jutsu, it, oh my god. And wow, I did not realize he could even do that. It's like freaking Kamehameha from B, uh, from B or uh, I. Which is funny, it's pronounced A-Y, so it, it's like A, but his name is pronounced I. Oh, and he's out. Oh, and the full-tailed um, cloak. It's basically his uh, full form, aside from, like, you know, when he actually turns into a beast. Yeah, between the um, substitutions and the use of his jutsu, it looks like B is actually winning based on um, tactics, whereas I is trying to win on brute strength. Granted, he's doing a very good job of it. Both really are. This is a very good brother-brother match, brother. <laughs> I feel like I ought to honestly put the, um, put the real feeling into that when I do it, but my voice just isn't gruff enough for it. Oh! <laughs> it's a good brother-brother match, brother! <laughs> It's terrible. Now that's a substitution, right? Like if you try to hit him when he's riding? Ooh. Wait, does that mean... Oh man, they are evenly matched. They Neither of them had any health left at all. Wow. That is insane. So yeah, Madara's brother, I believe, died during a fight with Hashirama. Tobirama killed Madara's brother didn't he? That was the start of their event, like they're, they're hating each other. So who else has got, who, who else has got brothers still left alive? <laughs> oh, hey, it's easy to forget these two are brothers, they barely even look related. Dag blasted, I just auto-clicked. But yeah, yeah, that's another brother-brother match, Gara. Okay, Gara, stay on Gara, Gara, versus Kankuro. This should be good. They're both pretty conservative when they fight, though. Oh, in the next episode, sister versus sister. Maybe. How many sisters we got? I don't know about... Uh, I bet we don't have enough for that. I don't think we have enough for that. Are there even any sisters at all? I don't know. And, uh... Before anyone wonders, I have tried the Tailed Beasts before. They're interesting, but it's kind of like... It, it, I don't think the game was meant to have two Tailed Beasts on the screen at the same time. This should prove to be an interesting match! There it goes! Now... The trouble with Itachi versus Sasuke for a brother-brother match is what version of Sasuke do you use? There's so many. I mean, I, oh, there we go. I mean, maybe the final version that actually fought him in the show, I guess. That could be pretty good. <laughs> I like how Konkuro has, like, a puppet version of one of the greatest puppet masters on Earth, and the main jutsu that he uses is just basically kunai. I mean, he's got some other stuff, too. He uses the fire and water every now and again. And I think that was the poison there. These two seem evenly matched, ironically enough. Very nice grab by Gara. The one thing that I feel sad about for this Conqueror is that, um... I love Konkuro as a character. I love the puppets that he uses, even though they're sorceries, which, funny thing is, you know, I, I love sorceries puppets, and it, it's strange. I mean, Konkuro, has he ever built a puppet himself? Because if you think about it, he uses all of sorceries puppets, and then he just starts using sorcery himself. I mean, talk about riding a man's coattails. I mean, Konkuro, you're a great character and all, but jeez, man. Like, I mean, if Sorcery could get Conqueror for copyright, he'd have that. He'd have him in prison forever. 
<laughs> like, you used all of my puppets, never built any one of your own, never did anything original, and when I died, you started using me as your own puppet. Like, like, he just, he's been riding that man's coattails since day one. Oh man, and there we go, whoo. Gara puts him down. With the shakedown. And of course these new glasses are really tight, so they they hurt for right now. Oh! Oh, that was a good attack. That was a good attack. It's a shame it didn't connect. It pretty much automatically connects if they're close enough to him, but... Oh, nice counter by Gara. But yeah, um, the one thing I miss about Konkuro as a character is I love having this version of him on the game, but I miss having his teenage version. Uh, some people call them kid versions, but... You know, even when they first started being Shinobi, I think they were at least 12 or 13, so you could call him teen or kid, but I miss his teenage version because I miss Salamander, Crow, and Ant. I mean, you can't even call them Conqueror's puppets because they're just not. They're Saucery's puppets, but I miss them all the same. Ooh, evenly matched, but Conqueror just bare... Oh, yeah, you show, him my you show him that way. Why don't you fight with him? It kind of makes me wonder. I wonder if they actually do come into, like, account during a move. Um, or, or if he can switch to them using a jutsu, but I doubt it. Which is odd, because they're there when his, in his, during his windscreen, but he never actually uses them. I think, uh, I think that's one more for each character. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is the last Conqueror. Ooh, that's a tough one. If you don't jump over that, it deals a lot of damage. Just because it pushes you downfield. There we go! Oh, wow, both characters with a huge jutsu. Okay, in that one I think both characters should have taken damage. Because the fire was all over Gara, But seeing as how he was in the middle of a move, he just sort of ignored it. That one's difficult to call, but I feel like Gara should have taken some damage on that one as well. Uh, you know, a fair exchange, you know? Very nice, very nice from both characters. Konkuro pushing back now. Both characters using melee really need to charge some chakra, but unable to get the distance. Konkuro had it there, but he charged forward instead. Oh, looks like Gara's gonna finish it. Maybe he'll awaken. There we go! Oh, that's sad. Konkuro's just ignoring everything. Conqueror is just ignoring everything because he's in the middle of the move that Gar is not there. And it's gonna close down and Gar just won't be there. Oh, that's sad. Did we glitch? Oh, thank god. I thought we glitched on infinite time. Because the only thing the only way to avoid that is just reset. Because you can't wait for a timeout. And Gara wins, brother v brother. Just barely though. I I wonder. Would he, if that was the last Gara, do you think he would have won if Ant had actually had him in the attack? Who knows? By the time anyone sees this, it'll be years later. <laughs> Vote now! <laughs> uh, but that's all well and good. It's all about the fun of the game. That's what it's really about. Um, I think we're going to have to end it off with Sasuke v uh, Itachi. Why don't, we, uh, why don't we go with the undead form of Itachi? We don't get to see him very often, you know what I mean? We just don't get to see him. Like, you know, he's only in, like, two or three episodes in the series, and, you know, it's an interesting thought to feel to see what he can do. I mean, you know, oh, and not only that, but, you know, there's also the thought of Sasuke is the one that put him in, you know, you know, killed him. So, there's also the thought of that, you know, maybe some terror from Sasuke like you you shouldn't be alive but then again Sasuke wouldn't be afraid of him because he he knows he knew the true story of Itachi right before he died so let's see Akatsuki was yeah that's the one that killed Itachi then he went to the Akatsuki then he heard Itachi's full story then he fought Donzo here um, I think that's the start of the ninja war Middle of the Ninja War, end of Ninja War. Why don't we just do Final Form Sasuke and Undead Itachi? That way, they're both the last of the last. See what everybody can do in the finals of the finals finals. And Itachi can, you know, say, hey, I got your eyeball. 
Kind of like I got your nose, but worse. <laughs> I'm ashamed of myself. Witty banter like this is why I only have 30 subs. <laughs> I like the lava dimension for this. I feel like it really fits it very well. Let's see who can use Susano more. I think if you played a shots game where you took a shot every time they activated Susano, you'd die. Ooh, very nice Sukiyomi by Itachi. I feel like this is the match that everybody would want to see, you know, brother versus brother in the final forms. Looks like Itachi's uh, got a bit of a lead on Sasuke, but Sasuke's not just giving it to him. He's making good use of that Rinnegan with the uh, power over, I believe it's gravity, right? Push and pull. Looks like they've, Itachi's got him in a corner, but Sasuke's pushing back. Oh, he's gotten good fire styles. He, here comes Itachi. He says, brother, let me give you a hand. I see you're missing one. Did <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, nice block. Oh, very nice block. Then counter. That is that is what a, a block is for, is for counters like that. Okay, that is very nice. Looks like Itachi's got him trapped in the corner. Oh, but he let it go. Now Sasuke's on the other side of him. There comes the fist, interrupted by... Ooh, man, these two are fast, and that was close. Look at the difference in those HP bars. What difference? Barely any. Round two. Oh, nice anticipation by Itachi. The second Sasuke even tries to get to the other side of him, he easily anticipates it. But let's not be biased. Let's root for Sasuke, too. Get out of that corner, my boy. You're on fire, you gotta get out of that corner, come on, there we go, there's the armor break, but watch out for Itachi now, because now he can awaken against you. Sukuyomi, into another Sukuyomi, into the fist of the Susano, pushes Sasuke back into the corner, but Sasuke blocks effectively with the Susano, still stuck, oh, stuck into the corner, pushed out of the corner, and, woo, a nice counter by Sasuke, nine hit combo for the win, but now, now both are on their second characters. Some good fire style usage by Sasuke. A pulse from both characters as they contemplate their next moves. Sasuke low on chakra. Itachi pushing back. Both characters charging now. Could one go for the awaken? Nope. Neither one of them are in awakening mode yet. Sasuke's about to be though. Oh, and the big fireball style jutsu. Uh oh. The AOE, the, uh, uh, what was that again? Um, the, uh, Sukuyomi, AOE Sukuyomi, slows down Sasuke's movements, but he's still using his moves effectively. Unfortunately, he's being pushed back into a corner. It looks like this might be it for Sasuke. Oh, and the kick to the face ends it. For the, uh, the leaves of, the leaves of Enger. Ooh, and he, that's two for Itachi. But, let's see, uh, Sasuke's on his third character, Itachi's on his second, but Itachi's HP is almost full, so I'd say Itachi's definitely got this so far. I really want to see somebody awaken. I want to see su uh, two Susanos hit that field. Two full-on Susanos and see what'll happen. Nobody's gonna do it, are they? Oh man, it'll be so great. Epic battle music, two Susanos, almighty push. Ooh, I love the way that Susano arm just comes in real nice and slow. Just boom, you know it's coming in. The Mangikyo shotting on AoE form. But Sasuke's blocking effectively. Oh, loses the block and gets hit by an, uh, a Sukuyomi. And again. Oh, he, he, oh, Sasuke's hurting bad. Sasuke's hurting bad. He's got to make a comeback. He needs a full combo into a Jutsu, into an Awakening to finish this. All right, there's the almighty push. Pushes Itachi back into a corner. Itachi gets out of it, strikes back with the counter and puts Sasuke down. I think Sasuke's on his, is that his last one? He's, he's got one more. Last Sasuke, okay. You just gotta beat um, three Itachis in a row. No big deal, you can do this. Or is it two? That one and one more? 
Let's find out. Come on, Sasuke. Do a little bit better now. You managed to kill him when he was alive, now you can't deal with him when he's dead. I guess zombies really are terrifying. <laughs> that was less like the almighty push and more like the almighty hold. Sasuke gets the push and the pull into an Amaterasu. There's Itachi with the great juggling skills there. Excellent juggling. Sasuke into the corner. Chidori lays her into fireball, takes Itachi down. Itachi down to, I think, one now. It should have a counter on either side. I hate having to keep track myself, but let's say this is the last two. Let's say this is the last for each guy. Sasuke with the push and pull into a Matarasu count, uh, combo. Itachi into the kick with the Sukuyomi. Sasuke pushing Itachi back into the corner with the fireball. The fire style. Yeah, it's over, says Sasuke, but not yet, says Itachi. Push into the corner, and there's Itachi with the heavy hits. Neither, chair, uh, neither character using many jutsu, mostly just going for combos right now, but there's some charging. Perhaps I've spoken too soon. Oh, and the Amaterasu. Fair, uh, Amaterasu, easily dodged by Sasuke in a very opportune moment. Good thing it actually didn't come back for him. Looks like Sasuke might win this if he can get just a few more hits off. And there it is! I think that's it! Did Sasuke get it or does Itachi have one left? One left! Oh man, Sasuke, you were, really were trailing behind, but at least you've got almost full health. Oh, and Itachi's pushing it back now. Sasuke's got to be careful. He's already at a disadvantage in, per in terms of HP. Ooh, keeping him in the corner. Itachi with the serious skills here. Sasuke's in trouble. If he doesn't get out of that corner and awaken, he probably doesn't stand a chance. Sasuke with the hesitation. Waffling just like in the show. Don't do it, Sasuke. Oh, oh no. And the waffle costs him the match. What a shame. There it is for Itachi. All right. Well, at 33 minutes, that's the episode. That was uh, brother versus brother. I'm sure I missed a brother brother combination. Bleh. I'm sure I missed a brother brother combination in there somewhere. But for the life of me, I don't know. So two or three years from now, whenever you all see this video, let me know who I missed in the comment section below. I hope you all liked the video and enjoyed it very well. And until next time, take it easy, my friends.